What's up, guys? I've been here with me, Anna, my wife, Casey, and also our team at the back. Yo, you know the Anna, <laughs> Napoleon, and Lina at the back with the children. And uh, we're going now. We're heading now to our uh, feeding site. You know, in a garbage dump site here in Cagayan de Oro City. And um, this is very powerful because uh, we're now in, uh, I think, fourth, fourth day, you know, with this daily feeding challenge. We just love to, you know, obey the Lord. That's what God uh, showed us, you know, especially at the, the time of pandemic. The people around there, you know, especially all the, the, the children are really suffering, you know. They may not... Um, express, you know, show their feeling that they are really in a, you know, struggle, you know, to provide their daily uh, needs, especially the food. But uh, the Lord just began to impress us, to reveal to us. We're now in the season that uh, we don't need to be selfish, but, you know, do something for them. I mean, we are already blessed, you know, in some way or another. And uh, we are contented so many things that God had given us but we must not forget we must not forget the children out there who are really suffering and uh, just last just this morning my mom called me and she said to me you know keep doing the you know feeding the children because uh, most uh, affected this time of a pandemic are the children are the kids so you know it's 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 very hurting you know i mean we know the people who are with us we know our countrymen we know the people uh, surround us and i believe that uh, you know in this last days god will god will not use someone who has no heart who has no passion but but only, but only those people who has the heart and the passion for this kind of ministry taking care of the children, you know, even, even in just uh, 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 feeding, you know, the children with, uh, you know, simple food, you know, maybe just provide their basic uh, needs, especially the food. It's an honor. It's a, it's a privilege for us to do, to do and continue this. So today, um, our schedule would be uh, one of our uh, leaders in their family. And uh, this would be the name of their team. Our um, uh, Alina and Napoleon feeding project. So we just put a name just to make a category, you know, because we just divided the team. So we, we have already four teams, you know, who are in charge of the feeding. And uh, they are the one, you know, they are the one to fly, they are the one, you know, voluntary. Buy and uh, at least you know fifty dollar uh, uh, a day a meal uh, every day. You know this these are the the, the, the basic uh, food that we can provide for the children. And um, as of now we are doing voluntarily, but we believe you know by your help and your um, effort also to join with us. You know we encourage you to join with us heartily. You know not be uh, not being compulsory but uh, you know in your own uh, heart to help and give you know so fifty dollar a day we can already uh, feed the, the, the children it's an honor you know it's an honor it's a privilege my wife and I we, we receive you know some donations especially in our ministry and some there are people who sending their seeds you know for, for the prophecy that uh, God gave it to them, but uh, we are using it, you know, for, them, for for this feeding because we know that in some way or another we are able to help you know, ease the, the the situation that we have here. So we are just positive and uh, we are positive and uh, optimistic, you know, in doing this project, the children feeding project, you know, and also the other uh, the, the other teams also have their names and also have their accounts and Facebook you know it's also you can I'm gonna put the link down below so that you can also follow them and see their what they are doing and 
their passion for the children. So guys, we are heating now. We are almost there. And just want to say thank you so much for your love and care and prayers. Those people who said already, you will see, you will know, and, and, and you will see our, you know, our doing. And it's all for the glory of God. And we'll be updating you more, you know, in a few hours from now, we'll be uh, posting this uh, uh, video. So just want to say thank you so much, and uh, we'll continue this until the coming, second coming of Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said, whatever the the things you, you, you've done to the list, even you just give them a water or a food, you will also do it to me. So we're already here, and as you can see, I'm gonna start the, the, the video. Here it is. So it's a remote area somewhere here in Cagayan de Ovo, and uh, you know, this is a dump site where their livelihood are getting the you know recycled uh, scrap out from the garbage and then sell it you know for for you know for food and uh, it's they are already been here for many years you know we've been doing here like eight years ago and still now we're we're, we're continuing you know slowly slowly even in a, in a small way, but we can still do an impact in his lives of the children. And I believe that God has given us this gift and, uh, you know, and uh, passion for this kind of uh, people. That uh, I would say these are the, the, the most, you know, I mean, I mean poor area, slum area here in Calgary and the city. And I just want to say thank you so much for your love and care. And we'll continue later, guys. We, we're just here. And um, let's do this for the Lord. Amen? Amen? Let's do this for the Lord. See you Amen. later, guys. Bye. See you later. Bye. Bye. Jesus! Jesus! Salamat! Salamat! Salamat!
Because we are in the dump side, you know, we are in the, you know, area that the kids are, you know, leaving, but they are still happy and enjoy. It doesn't matter the place, it doesn't matter, but you know, these are the kids, guys, that we are, we are feeding. They are doing great there, starting now, feeding the food. I just want to say thank you so much for your prayers and love. We're doing this every day, you know, for the glory of God. It doesn't matter, you know, how much we've been able to do something to feed the children. As long as the passion and the heart, you know, for them. We're doing this, you know, for the glory of God. Your simple donation, $50 a day, to be able to feed at least 100 more plus children in this area. In the Side, you know, look at that. These are the faces. The kids are over excited, they are so very, uh, you know, happy that the feeding team are already here. So, there is another kind of team that who is assigned to the team is uh, assigned by Alina. The rest of them, she's the one who knows the husband, the one who is in charge of doing the thing. And, and, and we mentor them, I mentor them to do this kind of ministry. The church, I get the young people and the church to understand that the, doing this simple ministry to the lives of the children are, are, are giving them an impact to their hearts, you know, even to the family. As you can see, guys, look at them. They are fighting now, up there, down here. And there are still more coming in this place. There are still more coming in the area. You know, they are so much excited and they are really moved. There is so much an emotion, intense, on the feeling that everyone is here. Even the team are so emotional and they are so happy and excited, you know, to see these children. I believe that God is blessing these children once again. And we're doing this every day, guys. Your $50 donation every day to be able to touch this children and feed them even just once a day. You know, we're doing this for the glory of God. I mean, it's all by His grace. Okay, Mama? Okay, Mama, do my boy, Stephanie, are you doing well? John, are you okay? Yeah. John is doing great. Stephanie, and cool. Yeah. And also, Mom Germany, our teacher. And you know, for the children. Very powerful. Elijah. So guys, very The kids are so excited. They are feeling in the life. This is amazing. You know? This is powerful, you know. We're doing this for the glory of God. Touching the lives of the people. The team are so intact. The team are so happy. We are excited and look at them. We are serving them. The kids are so much happy. Look at them.
This is powerful, guys. This is very powerful, you know. Guys, we are still doing here, and uh, thank you so much. Just want to say thank you for all who give me here, all this ministry, you know, for the glory of God. Just want to say thank you so much, you know. Your love and support for these children and the prayer are overwhelming. And we thank God that we are able to continue this ministry until the coming of Christ. We are so committed to do this, you know, for the glory of God. And we are so excited. And, um, We've been waiting for the coming days, you know, and see the result, you know. We give them the prayer, we give them the word of God, we let them accept Christ as their Lord and Savior. We give them the food, ministry, you know, taking care of the poor and the blessed uh, opportunity uh, children like them. And so guys, thank you so much. See you for the next video. Just want to say all that uh, your love and your prayer. Um, this is the team of uh, Napoleon Mediante. Napoleon Mediante and the wife. The one who is red, wearing the red. She's the one who served you know, uh, the, the food that they are one to assign today. And uh, voluntarily, they provide the money, buy the food, just for this. But I believe that there are people out there who are watching right now and able to join with us, you know, and uh, in some way or another, we're able to help our children feeding project here, you know, so what can you say? Uh, he's also a prophet, mentor him, he's a man of God, he's a humble heart for the ministry, and he has the love and passion for the Lord, and also he's doing well, you know, for the ministry, what can you say? You know, the feeling that we have now, we are so blessed. Uh, thankful by God was supposed to this great opportunity to participate, to take care of his children, to feed his children. It is, it is our heart, it is our passion to do this job. Because according to the word of God in Colossians 3, by the grace of us, whatever you do, do it heartily as the Lord. Because this is the love of Christ to, to keep these children, to feed his children, and to take care of his children. That's a real ministry. That's, that's, uh, uh, that's uh, uh, God. His desire is the will of God. Yes. It's a great uh, heart to, to do this job. Yes. Because uh, uh, we make the, the glory and honor to the Lord. So, akong pasalamatan ng ginoon, hindi nga porosunidad. Na, hindi ko hati sa paras kimayan, sino din para sa tao, sa pagkatiman, sa pagbata, sa pagpakaon, sa mga kabos. Kung hindi ginoon, na real nga ministry, nga gusto sa Diyos at itong ginaboy nga ipapabot. So, Kalipay nga dako sa kasing-kasing ang pagpasalamat nga ito sa Diyos tungod kayo nga mong mga team, uh, mong mga yes. anak, mga young people yes. na himos lang kapahay na nga bulaton sa pagpamuha, sa pagkatimad sa mga bata o mga pagkaon. Wow. So we are so blessed once again. Salamat kayo ang tanahan nga nagkatanaw sa uh, bulaton na nga para sa ginoon. Ang mga ibalik ang kumayaan, lungog ang kumaya. Yan lamang sa itong buktong anak ng Mawas Yesu Cristo. Amen. Okay, let's talk to the wife, you know. The wife of uh, Babit Nam. Why she's serving? Let's ask, uh, uh, yeah, it's your... Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. What can you say? What can you say? Any word of encouragement? Minisaya lang. Message. Magbalipayon lang sa pag-servisyo. Uh, uh, Saling lang sa atong buhay ni Diyos. Ang tananing provide na. Uh, amen, amen. Wow. See guys, thank you so much, you know. It's an honor and privilege to serve these children for the glory of God. It doesn't matter, you know, how much you could able to help and share to these children. At least your $50 donation every day could be able to feed at least 100 to 100 more children in this area but I believe there are still more as far as I remember and as far as I know there are 300 children in this area in this remote area at least 300 children or more but you know the children that who are come already we need to feed them already we need to give them the food and sometimes you know we just uh, could not be able to cook up all the bad the, 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 the food there are, there are some children who are not able to receive because we are already limited of, you know, the food, but we are believing 
and uh, by grace that God would have uh, uh, released the provision you know that would able also you could able also to help with us to bridge this blessing to the children you know in these last days so our prayer that in these last days you will be part of this ministry to the glory of God it's a privilege and honor to be with this uh, team my team Children Feeding Project and also the, the uh, Napoleon and Alina Feeding Project, John and Stephanie Feeding Project, and also Julia and Elijah Feeding Project, and also the coming team also will be uh, Intact and join force together with the, in the Children Feeding Project, who is the mentor of this, you know, the, 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 the other team, you know, so we are just multiplying the, the, the group, the team. Just to do something, you know, for the for this ministry in these last days. So, guys, just want to say here in uh, Garbage Dam Side, Tagayan de City, I just want to say thank you so much and my prayer that God will use you also in these last days for the glory of God. We'll do this until the coming of Christ. It's ease the pain, it's ease the struggle, and uh, you know, and the uh, hungerness of these children doing the feeding part. See you next time. God bless you. Rabbit Alvin here in the Philippines. I love you all and I'm praying you always by the glory of God, Jesus Christ our Lord, our Lord and Savior. Amen. See you next time. Bye-bye.